Hola, aloha, buongiorno, bonjour, ni hao, namaste, oh hi, agamasima. Drasuje, sin ciao. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Fred So we are testing out another product, Wonder 2. All right, so again, you know the people who, who kind of created the Wonder Brow? Well, they've got a new powder, so I decided to test it out. First of all, because I'm dark skin and let's face it, the white powders usually are not mm, dark skin friendly. And so I decided to test that out. Plus the claims are oh, just amazing. So this is what it claims. Retails at £19.95. One to two, actually, I believe it. Once you spend over £10, I think it is, it's free delivery as well. So this is what it claims. It is the perfect selfie. So HD photo finishing powder. It says an ultra soft powder that magically transforms the skin to look poreless and pixel perfect. Yes please that's what it says here okay the wonder 2 perfect selfie hd photo finishing powder from the makers of wonder brow create the ultimate finish to your makeup look without the use of a photo filter simply buff buff perfect selfie into the skin after applying the rest of your makeup with the wonder 2 kabuki brush didn't bother getting that thank you um and it says here and your finished makeup look will appear poreless Wallace, mm -hmm. free of fine lines and smooth without camera flashback. Well, you claim that smooth skin. I've got lots of pores. That means texturize the skin. And I thought, hello. I don't normally use filters as such anyway. Maybe when I play with pictures and so on, but not any other time. So I decided to, I decided to test it out. We're gonna see, does it work? Will it leave, not leave flashback? Will it not leave a white cast on my face? Will it actually make my skin look smooth and perfect so that when I go out and about, people are going to go, wow, what do you have? Your skin is fantastic. And I'm gonna be able to, <laughs> Mother Nature gave it to me. Mm. Let's test it out. So getting into it, my face most of it is already done. The eyes are almost finished already but you didn't come here for that. Uh, as you can see, if things aren't quite so smooth. I don't know what happened with the foundation. Um, it's quite patchy. Um, and as you can see the difference between here and here, and I haven't buffed anything yet. So what I'm gonna have to do is try and make sure that the canvas itself is as smooth and seamless as possible. Um, and I'm going to be using my regular powder, which, uh, because I need a bit of red, the foundation that I've got on my skin. First of all, let me give you the list of stuff that I've got on my skin. Uh, I have two primers, I normally do that anyway. I got the Becca Evermatte Poreless first of all. Um, that one helps to mattify my face, uh, but I've not seen anything to do with it closing up the pores or minimizing the pores. So I use the Ordinary's High Spreadability uh, uh, Primer as well, and that really does smooth things out for you and makes a huge difference. So I've got those two, and I did a bit of color correcting with the Edica Orange Corrector under my eyes around my mouth where I've got pigmentation and on top of that as well I then used the foundation which was the Kat Von D uh, foundation um, in the color number 74 um, but I think it might, it might be the foundation that's a bit off ish I'm not sure because it's not come out quite right I've done a bit of contouring which is not quite smooth yet um, so yeah as you can see forget these three I can't get rid of these three spots boom boom I think they're probably bites rather than spots but anyway that's enough chatting so I'm just going to try and use this foundation which is a, for a cola from uh, um, Fashion Fair my favorite um, I'm going to try and use that to try and buff the thing in I know it's a powder but I have to use it to try and smooth everything into place and try and make sure that it is more even. You see the difference it's making already. I, I've got to go out. I can't have a foundation that's all patchy or restart again. As you can see from here, restart all over again. There's no time for that. So yeah, I'm just first of all going to buff into this into my skin and have it all seamless and smooth. Look at those Ooh, frown lines. Getting old, getting old. I've got lines. Woo. Okay, um, so it's a bit better, but I'm still not happy with it. I think it is to do with my foundation. Um, but anyway, that's not the point. Hopefully, um, I'm gonna bring you a bit closer. You're gonna get to see all my pores, especially certainly I've developed a whole huge amount of pores all right about here. Um, so that you get to see, and we all test it out together. Oh my God. Mm. 
I'm always afraid of white powders. Oh my god, I really uh, white powders. Never mind, never mind. This is the test. So you can see that it's kind of like texturized, and you can see there, not perfect at all. This foundation today has made it look even worse. But we're going to test it now. I'm using the same uh, one. I know it's got a bit of color to it, but it's only because I'm scared. So tap, tap, tap. Getting a bit here, and let's try this baby out and see if it makes a huge difference. Um, okay, can't see a difference. Maybe I need a little bit more to set everything in place. Actually, I can't say it's not bad with regard to it being white. So I, I can attest to that. I'm just swirling it a bit. So I can get the product right. So we've got quite a bit here. Let's see. Cross fingers. Okay, blurring effect. Can you see a blurring effect? Can you see a difference? Uh, I, I, I can't say that I can. It does fill up the pores a bit, but I'm not going to sit here and sing about it because. I mean, I'll give it the uh, credit for the fact that it's not popping up all white despite my pressing it. So let's see on around the face, the rest of the face and see what it's like. So actually, I like the fact that he, it's, it doesn't turn super white. In fact, it's even better when it comes to not being white um, or appearing white on your skin better than the RCMA powder actually. Um, yeah, because it's got a small amount, but well, as soon as you brush it in, it's not too bad. This will be perfect if you, for example, had a foundation that was a bit too red. But, has that made that any better? No, I, I, I can't. It has not made any difference as far as I can see. Can you tell if there is a difference? I, I can't. I can't honestly say I, I can. Um, I can't see the kind of a sudden photo finish look that they were advertising. I really can't see. Um, I can't see it. Uh, no. Sorry, <laughs> if you think differently, let me know, but I can't really say, I can't see anything. So I'm just going to go and finish off the rest of my face. It's just a little bit of um, uh, of uh, highlighter on my cheeks. I'm going to go and have a quick look at it in daylight, see maybe there is a difference. But I genuinely, honestly, I can't see a 3D effect or kind of HD effect on, on my skin, 3D. HD effect, I'm sorry, I, I don't think so. But I'll come back and go and check in daylight. Maybe it looks different. I mean, I've got ring that here, so that may not show everything. We'll go and have a look. Alrighty, my face is done now. Um, I'm still not quite happy with it, still not. Um, but um, I, thankfully, I'm only gonna be out for a couple of two or three hours at the most. So I've kept everything kind of simple. Um, right, conclusion. The good thing. This powder really does not have a white cast to it at all. You, you see my skin tone, hello. And it actually, if you've seen any of my previous videos, it's actually way, way better than the um, RCMA powder. It really is better. It really doesn't have any coloring at all. Not, not even a tiny bit of car, white cast on your face. Um, and also, it's even better than the um, Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder in so far as, again, colouring my... It, there is nothing. There's nothing. It disappears into your skin. Um, that's as far as the positives go, as far as I'm concerned. Did it give me the kind of 
no filter needed on my face kind of look where everything was seamless and smooth and everything no it did not you guys saw that it didn't do that at all um so i can't recommend it on a basis of that's what it's actually claimed to do based on my experience on my skin and it is texturized and i'll come a bit closer you can see the texture there and it didn't do anything at all so i can't recommend it based on that because that's the biggest claim that's my conclusion as usual you don't have to like it you don't have to agree with me uh you can completely go out and spend your dosh it's your money at the end of the day you do whatever you want to do with it um it has you know that's it's your choice i just like testing out products and seeing how they go and hope that when i post stuff out it's an honest opinion that you try it, you can try it out for yourself or take it with a pinch of salt everyone reacts differently to makeup it might work for you it didn't work for me not today Will I continue buying and trying out one to two products? Absolutely, because their website is based on producing all these different innovative and unusual products which is supposed to work and they see the adverts everywhere and it's interesting sometimes to try them out and test them out and see if they really really work and that's where I come from I like trying different things that when it comes to makeup I talk with my hands a lot so I'm sorry 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 <laughs> thank you very much and uh yeah um and i just realized i'm i'm looking at my flowers display behind me I, I'm, I should be looking here here hello 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 thank you for watching and um i shall see you soon bye